trying to make this video with this cat. Won't leave me alone. Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Jamie. This is my 12 weeks video. Um, Thursday is the last day of the year, so I thought that I would um, kind of look back at the year um, in terms of transitioning and stuff, kind of reflect on that. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I think this year I prioritized myself, um, which isn't something that I do often. Um, it's a lot easier, I think, for me to take care of other people and put other people in ahead of myself. Um, it's easier to help other people than to help myself. Um, which I think is true for a lot of people, but, um, I feel like my decision to start testosterone, um, was, like, kind of the beginning of, like, truly deciding to, like, do things for me. Um, there was a lot of, um, thoughts and consideration of other people in my life in all of this decision making, top surgery, testosterone, stuff like that, but um, it was really something that I was consciously doing for me um, and that I did by myself. Like, it was really, it's difficult for me to schedule appointments and call doctors and do all of those things and I was able to do all of those things and do what I needed to do to help myself and that felt really empowering and I'm really grateful for that. Um, I've been trying to kind of ride that wave of empowerment um, and self-advocacy into other areas of my life, um, doing what I need to do to take care of myself um, and that's something that I definitely want to do um, in 2016 is keep keep paying attention to my wants and needs and being um, honest and also like outwardly spoken with my needs. Um, I think I'm finding that the world's kind of an easier place if you're upfront with your intentions and your needs and desires. Um, if you know what you want and you can communicate that to other people, it's very easier, it's a lot easier for them to help you, um, and for you to help you. Um, so, I don't know if this is making any sense. I'm just feeling really grateful, um, for how the year has turned out, and I'm, I feel like I've been on a big adventure for the last couple months, and I know that a lot of that's because starting testosterone's new and exciting and stuff, but um, that's also been kind of new and exciting, um, getting in touch with me and I guess my true self, and so that's something that I definitely want to carry forward and continue doing um, in 2016. Um, you know, when you're transitioning, it, everything, you're very conscious of your own body and how you're presenting and how you're being perceived. And so I'm looking forward to kind of getting a little more comfortable in that so that I would like to be less um, conscious about all of me and how I'm perceived and things like that. Um, giving myself a break, I guess. So I think that's something that I want to work on. Um, I'm not big into, like, New Year's resolutions. I'm definitely into setting goals, checking in with yourself, evaluating things, reflecting on things. Um, but for me, at least, I don't think that New Year's resolutions are very realistic ways of um, achieving things I want to do. But um, just in general, I want to keep working on loving myself and um, just existing and being me and enjoying being me and not letting that be such a constant thing in my mind. Um, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you have a safe and happy New Year's. Um, as always, if 
you need anything from me, if you want to chat, um, if you need, if you have questions or whatever, um, let me know on here, on Tumblr, whatever. I'm always happy to lend an ear or make new friends or whatever. So, uh, all right. I'll see you guys next year. See ya.